Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to introduce the best volume indicator that you can use effectively in your trading strategies. To add this wonderful indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search volume flow indicator. We add this one, volume flow indicator lazy bear, which is written by someone named lazy bear. All right, uh, this is the indicator. And as you can see, it's in the form of an oscillator, which is moving above and below the center line at a zero in this indicator. This green line is VFI line, volume flow indicator line. And the orange line is an exponential moving average of VFI line. By default, the VFI length is 130. And for the EMA, which is actually our signal line the default length is 5. The author of this indicator suggested that if you are on intraday time frame it's better to set the coefficient at 0.1. Since we are on 15 minutes time frame here we set the coefficient at 0.1. Here also we check show histogram because we need this histogram for interpretation of the volume and here also by checking smooth VFI we will have a smoother VFI line and so a smoother signal line and histogram. Let's go to the style tab and increase the opacity of the lines and histogram so they will be shown better on our chart. All right, here we go. Now it's better. And let's see how we interpret this indicator. This indicator is built based on OBV on balance volume indicator, which is a very popular indicator for identifying when the smart money is flowing in the market. And this is identified by divergences between OBV line and price movement. OBV is a cumulative indicator, which means it's simply a running total of positive and negative volumes. Unlike OBV, which shows cumulative amount of volume, this indicator values are not meaningless and actually positive readings are bullish and negative readings are bearish. Let me close OBV. So with this indicator, when the VFI line is above zero, it shows bullish state of the market. In other words, market participants are more interested to buy. And when VFI line goes below zero, it shows bearish state of the market. In other words, it shows that market participants are more interested to sell. The further the VFI line moves away from the center line, the more strength it shows in that direction. And when it gets closer to the center line, it shows weakening of the prior movement and a reversal is probably happening in the market. So we can expect that centerline crossovers can give us a signal on confirming that direction of the market has changed. But here also with this indicator, centerline crossovers are very prone to be false signals, especially when the market is in a trading range. And in this situation, we may encounter many false centerline crossovers before we get the true one. So here with this indicator, we don't rely on centerline crossovers as a trading signal, but more as a confirmation of a trend that we have discovered it's forming on the chart. With this indicator, we focus on divergences. Divergences here with this indicator provide us very good signal on when the smart money is active in the market and building buying or selling volume. So it gives the possibility that reversal of the market is probable to happen. As I explained earlier, the orange line is exponential moving average of VFI line with length of five. And this histogram shows momentum changing between these two lines. The ups and downs of this histogram are actually based on the distance of these two lines that you can see on the chart. When VFI line is below its signal line, the histogram is below zero. And when VFI line is above its signal line, the histogram is above zero. And please pay attention that the crossing points of these two lines actually coincide with turning points of the histogram above and below zero. It's similar to MACD indicator if you're familiar with. Here, based on this indicator, Indicator, we can identify two types of divergences. The first type of divergence is based on the price movement and VFI line and the second type is based on VFI line and this histogram. For the first type of divergence it happens when the indicator and price movement don't follow each other in the same direction. For example here you can see that the price made lower low but VFI line made higher low. This is a bullish divergence and it shows that buying volume is building. Although the price is decreasing 
but behind the scene the smart money became active and they are buying this divergence shows that the buying volume is building and gives the possibility of reversal please pay attention that when we have this situation i mean divergence it doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna have reversal it tells us that this declining of the price is weakening and there are three probabilities that can happen it can be just a pullback and then the price again continuing its prior direction or the price may go to a trading range before proceeding in either direction or an instant reversal may happen like what happened here in this case this was an example of bullish divergence and on the other hand when the price makes higher high but vfi makes lower high this is a bearish divergence and it shows that selling volume is building here in this case you can see that first uh, the price went to a trading range actually in a tightening consolidation period and then after that the price turned to a downtrend as you can see and the second type of divergence which is between vfi line and this histogram we have the same concept but it happens between these two here divergences tell us about possible crossovers of these two lines and so changing in the direction of the price when vfi line makes higher high but the histogram makes lower high this gives us the possibility that vfi line is going to cross down the signal line which you can see that it happened here and it was just a pullback another one happened here where vfi line made higher high but the histogram made lower high and you can see that after that we had a cross down the signal line and the market went flat until now and on the other hand when vfi line makes lower low but the histogram doesn't act the same way this tells us that we're gonna have probably upside crossover and you can see that it happened here and we have increased buying pressure and the market went flat in this area as you can see another divergence happened here where vfi made lower low but the histogram didn't follow and this gives the possibility that we're gonna have upside crossover which you can see that it happened here and in this case the result was an instant reversal as you can see these divergences are actually focused on shorter term movement of the market and reacting on every sign of increasing or decreasing in the volume the best result happens when we have both of divergences at the same time like here where we have a bullish divergence between price movement and vfi line at this point and also a bullish divergence between vfi line and histogram which is giving us the possibility that upside crossover is going to happen and if you pay attention you can see that in the bigger picture where we have divergence between price movement and vfi line here also for this larger wave of vfi the histogram also shows divergence these kinds of confluence of signals considerably increase the probability of achieving the expected result please pay attention that like any other tools in technical analysis you should never take your trading decisions only based on this indicator and you must use it in conjunction with other tools and aspects of technical analysis all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading